Thank you, darling. I mean, because I've been busy doing panto, you see. Oh, no, you oh, haven't. No, you haven't. I, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I've been the furry godmother. The what? The what? The furry, the furry, furry godmother. Furry godmother. <laughs> Tell you what, the most problem that I had was doing these couplets because you have to as the furry godmother. So and I had to fly as well, and I've been walking like Jane Way, John Way. <laughs> <laughs> John Way ever You don't realise what goes under that furry frock. <laughs> Honestly, I'm mean, harnessed up to the eyeballs, and I've been walking. Bandy, Ooh, oh, you're dropping <laughs> this. I've dropped something. <laughs> what's the opening line there? What's the opening line? My opening, well, it was a couplet. It was like, um, well, are you chucks? I'm here at last. And this flying all over is such a blast. From Hammersham <laughs> to Aylesbury, New Brighton to New Jersey, you must have heard of me, cos I'm your furry. <laughs> hey. Across the Mersey. <laughs> that was my opening. <laughs> well, welcome back. It's lo Thank lovely you. to have you back again. And we haven't seen you since uh, Dancing on Ice on Sunday. No, you haven't. No, I was meant to be in yesterday, but um, I went out and had a little few drinks after the, uh, <laughs> after the show. <laughs> And, uh, of course, that would, you know, like, ma make the papers. But Colleen, Colleen stood in for me, yeah. slept right the way through the alarm. Never done that before, I hasten to add. And, uh, but Colleen stood in for me yesterday. So, yeah, it was, it was well, fine. It was stressful, then. It, well, it was quite... Some of us, it, you know, they choose who's going to be in the first and the second show. And part of you wanted to do the first show so that you could get the kind of yeah. the major nerves over with. But it was quite nice to experience it not having to perform, as it were. But, I mean, my legs were going just on that little skate-on bit. Do you know what I mean? Because you can still go, uh oh, uh, it, even if you just, you know what I mean, just doing that little skate-on. So I think you did really oh. well. Look, you were just picked up and carried on, to be honest. Oh, God, you <laughs> see, here we go again, people going, why is June Whitfield in Dancing on Ice? I can't bear it. <laughs> Nana's on ice. Nana's, 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 Nana's I told them that you said that, Nana's on ice. <laughs> and you've got the beautiful Matt Evers, oh, who's Matt lovely. Evers. Just, I, I just am in, in love with Matt. I've got the, you know, everybody loves their partner. I've got the, the, the best partner. You know, we've become such, such great friends. The only thing yeah. is, you kind of forget, because you're all having such a great time and the, the, the day is full of adrenaline and everything, that it's a competition. Yeah. And, of course, with this new format, it's the cruelty of the losing two people mm. that you've just got so close to. And, I mean, yeah. I've watched these shows before and thought, oh, shut up when they go just we're all like big family you know um, and I'm, I'm never I'm never gonna say emotional journey or <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, Angela, Angela and Nadia, I mean, obviously I've known Angela for a lot of years, but Nadia and I, well, we all are, are really, really great friends. And it's just so devastating when they, when they go out because those six performances, for all different reasons, brought something to the show. Yeah. So you just can't, you, you can't call so it. Who have you know? got There's another two going, isn't there? There's another two going next week when, when, week when we do uh, it. Your lot. I mean, it depends because, you know, with all of these shows, as we know, there's, there's a lot to do with personality and a, and a lot to do with talent. I mean, Laura, who got through last week, is, is clear the front runner of the girls as regards skating mm. and in um, a, and in ours you've got some well in last week's you've got somebody like Rob Vanilla Rice who's just such great he was fantastic. who's making skating yes. cool right. but then you've got Sam in our group that used to be in EastEnders Sam oh, look Porter. at him but That's the thing is about fab. my little Louis was there with his with, with his daddy even though I wasn't performing and of course Louis is now just obsessed with Vanilla Rice and he was so great with him after showing him all the, the moves and everything like this so mummy said so Louis said mummy next week can I come and bring a banner which says Vanilla rice to win. Good luck, Mum and Matt, in the corner. No. What do you call him? Do you call him Ice Van? Just Miller? um, Rob. you know, do me a flavour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob. He's lovely. He's just a really, he's a really, really nice guy, and he, you know, he's missing his kids and everything. And as I say, that the skaters are thrilled because they said it's making skating cool. cool. Mm, you know, yeah. so it's. Um, Right. It's all very exciting. OK, back to business for us. Now, it seems that uh, not everyone is up on modern technology, like our Carol. Uh, film star Johnny Depp has said that he and his partner, Vanessa Paradis, both keep their distance from newfangled gadgets and try to live without them. Same goes for Keith Richards, according to his fellow bandmate, Ronnie Wood. Uh, apparently, he still insists on sending handwritten notes via fax machine because he stubbornly refuses to use email. So do you think that Johnny and Keith have, have got a point? Do you think modern ga gadgets make life difficult? Well, you're looking at the oldest person on the panel. Yes, um, I totally agree with Johnny Depp. Yeah. I think you can have too much 
gadgetry. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, and too much technology. Um, I always, I went to the most fabulous party on Saturday, and I have written a handwritten note, because I think it's very rude to do otherwise. That's the way I was brought up. And, you know, all your sat-navs first came along, the calculators. I'm going to rant now. I really am going to rant. Go on, then. Because, you know, kids have... Um, well, kids, you know, they can even take these calculators into exams now. Mm. What happened to your times table? Yeah, you're yeah. right. I mean, I can go through... I mean, you know, I, I can do it. Take some time at my age. <laughs> Have you got a mobile phone? I've got a mobile phone, but I ate it. You ate it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> I ate it, but I won't it? answer it. <laughs> I, had, I had several phone calls this morning. My son, Robert, ring, is here today. Ring. And he took... And he put even put the ringtone in, which is the Bee Gees singing that Saturday Night Fever thing. It drives me crazy. What about text messaging, though? Do you mean you don't text people because everybody I can't texts? Text, she doesn't but like not to with text. These nails. I know when I text her, she doesn't like to text. I do. I, I phone you back, yeah. don't I, Denise? I, you know, I I hate text messages. And even when I get, you know, New Year, you get a lot of that. But all my friends know that I just press X to tell them You've got it. that I've got the, the message. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I do. Well, I think I, I, you know, I do. I understand what you're saying. And, you know, we can't go back there. The genie's out of the bottle. It's all... The technology's all there. And, frankly, I, I couldn't really live without it now. Um, I can't imagine the day... You know, sometimes I look at my computer if I haven't looked at it all day, and there's 300, 400 emails. Now, whenever did you go to the door first thing in the morning, the postman's been, and there's 400 <laughs> letters there? <laughs> Never. You know, it is... <laughs> It is unnecessary and it is absolutely time consuming. It takes me. But you're obsessed so with it. You're long. like a geezer. You read that stuff magazine and everything. You're yeah, a geezer. I do. Yeah, yeah, I'm a geezer. I do like stuff magazine and I do love gadgets. And I'm quite offended by the fact that stuff magazine and T3 magazine, both good gadget mm. magazines, feel the need to um, display gadgets with, with semi naked women. You know, I think that's an insult to women like me who do like gadgets. I love them, but you're right, they don't save me any time. They just what become some power to play You with know, everything all the time. goes up the wall, doesn't it? Well, your when mobile phone the doesn't. They, they actually work without wires. What if your now? mark was robotic then? What if he was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, could be. Do, I have to say, I actually disagree. I think they do save times. Yesterday, I was on the train quite a lot, and it meant I could do all my emails on the train on my on